right, so this is a uh, related rates problem that's going to involve some right triangle calculations. Um, and um, we're going to go through these calculations. This one's a little bit more difficult than some of the other related rates problems because it involves um, a lot of context as well as some, uh, some somewhat tricky, uh, a somewhat tricky situation here in terms of positives and negatives. So let's take a look. We have uh, two points A and B are located uh, 100, excuse me, 275 feet apart on a level field. At a given instance, a balloon is released from point B. So this is B. Uh, at a constant rate of two and a half feet and is rising at a constant rate of two and a half feet per second. And at the same instance, um, at the same instant, a cat starts running from A to B at a constant rate of five feet per second. So this is going to be five feet per second. After 40 seconds is the distance between the cat and the balloon decreasing or increasing. So uh, this right now is 275 feet. And um, we have both this balloon and this cat that are going to start moving. So the cat's going to move here to the right. And shorten that distance up a little bit. And the balloon is going to move upward, make the distance between the cat and the balloon somewhat different. So let's consider the situation in 40 seconds. So in 40 seconds, our balloon will have moved up here, and our cat will have moved up here somewhere. Now we're going to get some exact calculations here for that in a second. Okay. So Let's consider what's happening here. In 40 seconds, we have the cat covering 5 feet every second. So in 40 seconds, the cat has moved 200 feet, which means this now is just 75 feet. The balloon started on the ground, and in 40 seconds, at two and a half feet per second, 40 times 2.5, it will have covered 100 feet. So now this distance is 100 feet. And what we're interested in is this distance here, from the cat to the balloon. So you can see that this is a right triangle problem. And what we need to do here is just say, okay, we have a right triangle. We have this 75 foot distance and the cat, remember, is still moving at five feet per second. Okay. And uh, this balloon is still moving at two and a half feet per second. So these things, uh, this 100 and this 75, they're gonna keep changing. So what we have here is, um, a problem where we need to find the hypotenuse. Now I'm actually gonna add a little bit to this problem as well. This right now is only asking us, is it increasing or decreasing? I'm also gonna ask at what rate? So if you note now that 275 isn't really important anymore. We used it to find out where the cat is in 40 seconds. We don't really need the 275 anymore. So let's set up the relationship between these three sides. Let's call this X and let's call this Y. Okay. And what we have is X squared plus Y squared is D squared. It's a standard Pythagorean theorem. But I want to know, is the distance increasing or decreasing? So I'm not looking for D. I'm actually looking for DD DT, which will also give me the rate. Now, if it's increasing, dd dt is positive, and if it's decreasing, dd dt is negative. So we take the derivative, as we always do with related rates, with respect to time. So this is 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 2d dd dt. And now let's fill everything in. What we're looking for is d, 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 t. We know the x and y at this instance. There's 75 and 100. 
We also know the dx dt and the dy dt. So 2 times 75 times dx dt. Now the dx dt is 5, but realize that this is literally asking us the rate of change of x with respect to time. Well, x is shrinking. So this is negative 5. And then 2 times 100, that's our y value. The dy dt, that's positive because that's still expanding. Now, we don't have D at this moment, but we are interested in this exact instance when this is 75 and this is 100. So we can compute that D using another Pythagorean theorem, this time not derived, because all I'm looking for is that particular time. So we can actually solve this pretty easily. This is 125. I'm not going to go through all the algebra. Some of you may also recognize that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. This is 3 times 25, this is 4 times 25, so D is 5 times 25. Regardless, you can just put that information into the calculator. Okay. So we have negative 750 plus 500 is 250 dd dt. Negative 250 is 250 dd dt. Divide by 250 dd dt is equal to negative one foot per second so the distance between the cat and the balloon is decreasing at t equals 40 at a rate of negative one foot per second. We hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching. If you did find it helpful, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Um, check out some of our other videos and uh, email us uh, if you have any questions you'd like us to do a video on.